Hello, welcome to Coding with Tom. Today we're going to be supporting our restaurant app in the iPad and we're going to add a sidebar that's going to be translated to a tab bar in the iPhone app. Right now, if we run the application on iPad, you will see that we do have a functional view, but it performs terribly since we're not making good use of the screen size. That's because we are showing everything in the entire screen. For that, to solve this, we need to use a UI split view controller. In our scene delegate, we're going to identify if the app is being run in an iPad. And in that case, we're going to be configuring our UI split view controller to run in a triple column mode, which is the one that includes a sidebar. Just so we have another section in the app, we're going to create a profile view controller that is not going to do anything right now. So here we're going to be creating the categories view controller with the convenience method we just created. And then we're going to add it to the supplementary part of the split view controller. So that's the view that goes between the detail and the sidebar. For our sidebar, we're going to create a separate view controller that's going to have a collection view. And thanks to Apple, UI collection view with UI composition and layout already supports a list configuration that has the sidebar appearance and will have the behavior that we are looking for.
we are going to be having two sections in our sidebar one is going to be to browse the app so it will take the same functionality as the tab bars and then we'll have bookmarks that we will use in a future episode when we start supporting drag and drop Just as we set the appearance of the UI collection view to sidebar, for our cells, we're gonna use the list, the sidebar list content configuration.
Now in our UI collection view delegate method, here's where we will change the supplementary or secondary view of the split view controller when the user taps on an item in the sidebar. With this, we are now ready to add our sidebar view controller to the split view controller when running on iPad. Now let's test it out. On the left, you can see the sidebar, it's collapsible. However, we have a little crash because we forgot to actually add the identifiers and configure our storyboard. Now we have the correct implementation for our sidebar. However, when we tap on the items in the categories, it's still traveling within the supplementary view controller instead of updating the master view controller. And that's because the categories view controller is still not using the split view controller to navigate. With that change, now when we tap on one of the cells, our master view controller is updated. Notice how comfortably the sidebar is dismissed during this interaction, and at any time we can go back to it by pressing back in the detail in the categories view controller. Now, if we go to iPhone, we'll see that we broke something. When we tap on one of the restaurants, you'll see that the view is displayed morally instead of pushing to it. For that, we will need to override a method in split view controller when we are running on iPhone. To maintain both the iOS and the iPad app in sync, we're gonna be adding a split view controller. And as shown first in the demonstration, the iOS app will include a tab bar. What we're doing here is using the UI split view controller delegate to override how the view controllers are presented when calling show detail view controller. In this case, what we're going to do is we're gonna extract the view controller. We're gonna take it out of the navigation controller in case the 
embedded in one and then we're going to push it using the existing navigation view controller We now have our navigation back on iPhone and you'll notice that now we have a tab bar as well. That was all for today. UI Collection View Controller makes it really easy to add the sidebar appearance. That in combination with the triple column mode in UI Split View Controller makes it just wonderful to implement this in iPad. Shoutouts to Apple for posting a great example on how to use Sidebar. I'll definitely link it in the notes of this exercise. Hope you liked it. Bye.